What's going on guys? I'm back here today with another exciting one for the SIG X Macro series. We're talking about none other than Icarus Precision and their brand new grip module for the X Macro. Check it out. All right guys, so this is gonna be first shots with the Icarus Precision grip module for the X Macro. I'm gonna say straight away, just in the hand, it feels really, really nice. So I imagine it's gonna shoot just as nice. Let's take a couple quick shots and let's talk about it. All right, first initial impressions. It feels good. It feels really nice. Uh, there is no way you're gonna drop this thing. I mean, it is textured everywhere. It's got a really nice palm swell in the back, which I know with the you know, factory SIG macro grip, you can change out small, medium, and large, but it doesn't give you this big of a swell. And for me, like I have a medium sized hand. I didn't mind the slimmer grip of the macro, but it's certainly slimmer. I've, I've shot, guns that have a much wider grip and i'm not really sure what i prefer but i can tell you that a slimmer grip sometimes can feel weird even if you have like a smaller size hand um, it just feels like there's just not a whole lot to grab a hold of uh, i'm not saying i got that so much with the factory grip but going from that to this grip is a noticeable difference like it feels in my hand it feels really nice. What, what's happening here, that swell is just eating up the palm and it, the pressure in the palm feels nice. So it really feels like I have a good purchase on the pistol. And what they've done here is undercut it more in the trigger guard, give you a little bit of a, a, a nice higher set hand to bring that gun lower in the hand. And we're gonna compare this to the X Macro, see them side by side so you can really get a good view on the differences of these two grip modules. So here we are with the factory X Macro. And you can see here, obviously there's really not much of a swell. This is just the medium, I believe, that came on the gun. This is the one that's on the range right now. Uh, but you can also see it does sit low in the hand. It's got the beaver tail there. But what you're getting on this, the way this beaver tail is set up on the Icarus, it's extended and it's definitely making you sit what seems to be from this view, a little lower in the hand. I mean, it's very close. I think what you're getting on the Icarus versus the stock SIG, here it's a little deeper cut, but then combining that with the trigger guard I'm gonna give you good close-ups, but combining that with the trigger guard, you can see it's definitely getting lower in your hand. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three shots with the factory macro, and I'm gonna take three follow-up shots with uh, the Icarus grip and see kind of what I notice going right back to back to the two. Very first impressions, grip, much grippier on the aluminum grip. I mean, all this checkering here is like perfect. I mean, you feel it in your hand, you feel confident that you can hold on to this thing, even if you have to grab it quickly and you don't get your hand placement exactly perfect, it kind of helps you get away with that a little bit uh, because it's so grippy and all the surfaces on this thing, being that it's aluminum, gives you that little bit of weight, gives you that great stipple, that great texture on aluminum, which you're, you can't, you can, you can replicate that a little bit on a plastic module. Uh, you know, SIG themselves have a, you know, more of that custom shop kind of grip you can get, and it's, it's really like an aggressive type of grip. But I, f I felt those, and I still feel like this feels grippier than that, just given that it's aluminum and it's you can really you know that aluminum it, you know it's like a cheese grater i mean it's not that rough but it 
it's it's rough and it there's really there's no give you know plastic can kind of wear and smoothen out where you know this is this grip is nice let's talk about some of the other features what you're getting here is a nice bit of a flare to the magwell so as you can see it flares just slightly but i feel like it's not it's not that it's an overwhelming flare it just gives it enough enough to give you the confidence in if it's not perfect the mag just goes in right i don't have to be perfect because it's it's funneling it in even if i get it just slightly off you guys know how flared mag wells work and that's, that's what it does so i'm going to do a i'm going to do a couple shots mag change and uh see what it's like So what I noticed there, something to get used to. Being aluminum mags on aluminum frame, it's getting the practice and the reps in to just finding it. It's a little different. Not that it's like, look guys, it's not that it's, you can't find it. It's obviously, it's a, it's a bigger target to hit. Um, but with the polymer, it polymer on aluminum is gonna slide easier. So, what I just found here, just that first try, first attempt, and it probably just was me not, not getting it correctly, but getting that mag to go in at that slight bit of an angle, it, it got hung up just for a second. I don't think that's bad, I think that was just me. Let's try it one more time. Much smoother there. I think that was just me being slightly off. Uh, felt good, nothing wrong with that. I feel like it sits a little lower in my hand. Given that the cuts here at the trigger guard are slightly higher, uh, and there's a nice finger rest here, so that means it's, it's just your hand is up, so the gun is down. On the factory one, you're not getting that. So it's just a round trigger guard, whereas this, you can see there the gap between the trigger and the trigger guard is just a hair. Just a hair lower, it seems, on the Icarus. I mean, I'm not gonna measure it, but just by the eye, it seems like it's just a hair. Maybe not, but it seems like just a hair. Um, I like the extended beaver tail here for guys that have like a meatier hand. That's gonna help you out because you just got more beaver tail. I like the gas pedal or ledge that they got built into this. So it's really nice. You can see there, thumb rest. So when you're on it, you really have a good feel and you really can kind of drive, drive with that thumb. It's really nice and textured the same way the whole, the rest of it is textured. So it feels good, it feels very grippy. It feels like it's not gonna come out of my hand at all. The one critique I will make on this is if they, if they make these in left and right-handed models, I'd like to see that be a differentiator and only because, and maybe it's just I need to get used to it. So. This is, not a, this is not like a ding to them, to this. And it may be easier to manufacture these universally like this, whether you're righty or lefty. But so it has the same ledge on my strong hand. So we got left side and right side. Uh, it feels nice for the finger index. So it's right there for your finger index as well. What I found though, this is the first, since this is the first day I've shot it, what I found is going from there feels really nice, but then going to the trigger, it's, it's a little bit of a, I don't wanna say a hindrance, but you can feel it. It's not like you can go here and then right down to the trigger. Although you can, it just feels like this is just in the way just a little bit. Like if they would make for left and righty, you know, file this off smooth uh, for a righty and then lefty obviously the other side. Is it a big deal? Eh, nah, I, I, I was shooting it fine. Um, it's just something I would say uh, could be improved on. Feels really nice here. It's not that it's bad. It's not, a, it's not a bad reach, but I can feel my finger dragging on that when I go down, unless I come all the way off and all the way in, where I'm not used to doing. I'm used to just here, finger index in here, straight down, straight down, straight down. Your finger just kind of drags on that. Um, I don't think it's too big, I like, cause for concern. It just, 
noticeable, noticeable difference if you're not used to having that. All right, guys, final thoughts on the Icarus frame for the X Macro. It's really nice, guys. I mean, if you like an aluminum frame gun, give you that little bit of extra weight, helps with the recoil just a hair, uh, want that custom feel, that custom look. Uh, this definitely feels and looks badass. Um, it shoots smooth. I like, I like how I can get that, feels like a lower purchase. It's got that more of like an ergonomical, if you can tell here, grip on the finger. So you get that finger nicely inset here and up, whereas the rest kind of just molds to your hand. It's really nice, it's really nice. Maybe it could be an improvement is that, you know, gas pedal or ledge on the weak side, whether you're righty or lefty. Um, but you can definitely get around that. Um, it's not make or break, just something to consider maybe. This whole setup here, on both sides is just really nice. I can't really convey over film what that feels like in the hand, but it feels it feels really good. I had a bunch of other people hold this and, and get a purchase on it and feel it, and they were all of them. I just said, hey, feel this. How do you like it? And they were all like, man, that feels really good. And, and, and I'm not even just saying that to say it. Like, I mean, it feels good. It feels really nice in the hand way better than the factory X, X macro grip. As far as I know, they are supposed to be making other models of these, so different variations of these like they do with their other grip modules. This is the one that's out right now for the X macro, this version. All right, guys, so that's it. Don't forget Steve MP5 on the Instagrams. I'll see you next time.